I want to show you the latest version of our AI image generator from Freepik. It's gotten a massive upgrade, both in terms of the image quality, but also in terms of the workflow and the UI. Let me show you how it works. At the top here, you'll see the input field for the prompt. I'll put in a one word prompt, let's say a bird, and I'll show you how powerful it is. First, I, pick, I write in bird, and then I can choose a format here to the right. I can choose to have portrait, square, social story. A social story is quite interesting. Let's make something for an Instagram story, for example. So I'll hit create. Now you'll notice how quick, when I'm clicking create, how quick it is to respond with results. Let me show you. So it takes around a minute, in one second to generate four images. But not only that, you can also scroll. And when you keep scrolling, it will keep generating new images for you. So you can see here, that's a blank row. And now the generator is creating new images. So I can get many different variations in a very short amount of time. Now, maybe these results were not exactly what I was looking for. So instead of like working more with the prompt, you can also choose to use some of these settings at the top. We have style, we have color, framing, and lighting. Let's try to pick a photo style. You can see the, up, the results are updating. Now I get photo style, we'll move to color. I want to maybe have pastel colors. Let's pick that one. You can see the results are changing immediately to now to pastel colors. Let's pick some framing. We'll maybe, maybe have it a portrait mode for of the bird. And then finally, we want to have, I'll choose a more creative choice for, for the lighting. Let's see. So you can see now with just a single word prompt and by clicking the different settings, choosing some really good presets here, I'm able to get some stunning images of this bird. So this is a very quick demo and there's a ton of more features that I can't go through right now. If you want to try it out, it's in beta. You can get an in my code. It should be below this video. And I hope you will give us some feedback and have fun with the tool.